chili lovers, it's Cap Sassenoid again. I'm here with yet another chili product review for you guys today. And yes, it is potato chips. <laughs> but it's potato chips unlike any other you've ever seen or could even dream of. Guinness. Yes, Guinness and chili flavoured potato chips. And beef. You gotta add the beef in. I mean beer meat and chili what else could a bloke ask for so yeah quite a small little packet um, picked these up from a international lolly shop down at the market in Fremantle so if you like the sound of them and you want to try some after this review that's where you go to get them all right I'll just read the back for you before I try them the heat goes on Continuing our mission to take taste buds to new extremes, we've taken fresh jalapeno chilies and juicy succulent beef chilies and infused the world's most iconic stout to create Guinness, rich beef chili. Not for the faint-hearted, these thick-cut, hand-cooked crisps pack some serious punch with rich, deep layers of authentic flavour that will have you coming back crunch after crunch. Whether in the pub, gathered on the sofa for your Saturday night TV fix, or round at your mate's place for the weekend match. Guinness, rich beef chili chips are your perfect snacking partner. I should do their commercials. thought that was pretty good. <laughs> Tell me what you think in the comments below. Anyway guys, enough mucking around. Ingredients. Potatoes. Sunflower oil. Sugar. Yeast extract powder. Salt. Onion powder. Paprika powder. Barley malt extract. Spices, tomato powder, herbs, citric acid, paprika extract, chili extract. Well, let's get to it. Super keen. Holy shit. Sorry about my language there, but this actually smells like beer. Oh, wow. It's different. Very different. I'm going to start out by saying it sure smells like beer, but it tastes it kind of tastes like stale bread. <laughs> I mean, I can taste. Um, some sort of meat element as well. Maybe a little bit of paprika, not hot. Um, but yeah, there is no meat ingredients to this at all. It's all just spices and extracts and powders and things like that. So. Um, But yeah, they have done well with the, I think it's the barley and malt to make it kind of taste like beer. But they just didn't hit it on the head. Very interesting. I mean, I am enjoying them. But now I understand why they make them in the small packets, because it's not its not a Moorish chip. It's a, yeah, I'll try that. Probably won't buy it again, but I'll try that <laughs> sort of chip, if you know what I mean. But yeah, um, I'm not saying don't buy it. It's, it's Guinness chili chips, so please, go ahead and try it. Not my cup of tea, though. Or my cup of beer, I should say. Flavor. I'm gonna go a four, four out of ten for flavor. As I, as I said, 
They almost got there, but they just didn't with the beer thing. Especially Guinness. I mean, it's a very heavy, full-flavoured beer. Whereas that, if they were trying to go for some sort of beer, would just be a standard wheat beer that they're, they're getting similar to, I think. Um, here is pretty much nilt. I'm going to give it a zero and a half out of ten on heat. Excuse me. But yeah, had to try it. Had to do a review for you guys. It's not like you see that sort of stuff every day. So I do hope you enjoyed my video. Please like, please subscribe. Please check out um, my mate's video. I'll post the link in the description. Uh, the other day, we attempted to beat LA Beast's world record of eating 13 habaneros in 90 seconds while standing on one foot. And I gave it a go. I failed miserably. And I, yes, I did put that in front of the, the video. Um, but then you'll see Odin absolutely smashed it. Firebeard. I think we're going to start calling him. But yeah, please check it out. Please give it a like as well. LA Beast watched it. I haven't heard a comment from him yet though. I'd like to. So LA Beast, please let me know what you think if you watched it. And yeah. Catch us later.